Hi friends. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel Testing Mini Bikes. I am your friend Abhinav Shaktivel, and in this video, we're going to see about uh, how we can use function interface in the explicit weight uh, uh, that we normally use in Selenium. Again, we have been uh, uh, seeing how we can, uh, what is function interface, what is the method signature apply, you know, all those stuff. And in this video, we'll head towards uh, directly in using our in our test automation framework, right? So let's go to the IntelliJ workspace and I have uh, already created some basic uh, snippet of code um, that basically, you know, uh, creates a, a driver uh, for you. And then uh, it, it, you know, goes to the Google page and it finds the element that is a uh, queue, which is basically your search box in the, in the Google, uh, right? Google website. Good. And I'm trying to send the keys. Amugan. So before that, I'm doing an explicit wait, whether uh, I'm checking whether the visibility of element is true. And then, um, you know, if it is the case, then I want to send the keys, uh, my name, right? Maybe I can use uh, something else. Okay, good. So I, this is a simple piece of code and let's check whether it is working. Okay, so it launched the Chrome and it entered this and my test got passed, everything was working fine. So. Uh, here, how can we use, uh, you know, uh, function interface implementation in this particular piece of code, right? So let me copy the same code and uh, let me paste it here. If you, if you closely observe this until method is, is actually takes in a function interface implementation. So, okay, let's, um, let's, okay, remove this. And if you notice the function, it takes a function interface implementation, the, the method accepts a web driver reference and it can return anything, right? In our case, it can return web element or it, it can return a true if the web element is present there, anything, it's up to you. So what I'm gonna actually do, it takes in uh, D, so D represents your driver, I know, and uh, basically I want to find the element again, right? So you can do that, okay, by dot uh, name Q, you can do, the, do like this, or you can also do you know, even though I, I take in this argument, it is not, you know, necessarily that I have to use it. So you can also use something like this. Okay. And if it is displayed, okay, basically I want to click on that particular element or I need to send the keys to it. Element dot, uh, send keys. And then you can send whatever the value. So maybe some value I want to send. Okay. Good. So this is very simple piece of code, right? Instead of writing like this, you can write like this. I mean, what is the advantage? I, I I don't see any big advantage of using like this. Uh, what is the biggest advantage that you are telling or speaking about? See guys, here it is restricted. You cannot extend this to, you know, cater any other needs. Let's say we introduce some stale element reference exception that we normally face and we'll try to avoid that with the help of um, function interface implementation within the explicit weight itself, okay? We are not writing extra try catch blocks or we are not handling it externally we will try to handle everything with the help of uh, the lambda expression here itself right let's try to understand first the uh, you know um, the stale element reference exception let's copy this piece of code um, so after i find this element from, uh, from the web page so basically i am importing this from uh, javascript executor so what i'm actually doing okay so once I find the element, I'm removing the element, uh, same element from the DOM, okay? To do that, I'm using JavaScript executor. JavaScript executor is a way where you can inject your JavaScript comments directly into the code, Selenium code. So what basically I'm doing in the, in the document, I'm trying to find the elements by the class name. This search box class name is uh, this particular value. So I, I am finding the, you know, it basically returns you a list, right? It get elements will return you the list. I am finding the first element in, of that uh, inside the list. And then uh, I'm removing that from the dome completely. Now, if you try to execute this particular piece of code that we have written before, it will throw you stale element reference exception. Let's check whether it is throwing that. Okay, so if you notice, okay, my test has failed. Absolutely, that's what we want. And if you notice, this is stale element reference exception. The element is not attached to the page document. Yes, because we have removed it from the page document AI right? using um, JavaScript code. This normally, we, you don't have to explicitly remove it. This normally happens in a, in a website that is having a lot of Ajax calls. These Ajax calls will 
will change the property of those elements or basically remove them completely from the dome when you try to reference the elements that are already removed then you will get a stale element reference exception okay amudan how we are going to handle this okay the first thing uh, that comes in in built is ignoring so okay stale element reference exception okay there is a method called ignoring that takes in a class okay i am giving hey when you are trying to poll and then find this element okay you have a maximum of 5 minutes 5 seconds and you poll every 500 milliseconds during that time okay within this 5 seconds don't try to throw me a stale element reference exception okay will this work amudan no this will not completely work what this will do it will only ignore it okay it will not throw the exception but it will throw other exceptions okay let's try to run the code and see what's happening basically since the element is not there it cannot throw the stale element now but it will throw the no such element exception right or it, it will tell the expected condition doesn't match see if you notice uh, waiting for the visibility of that particular element which is not actually possible it cannot throw the stale element reference exception because we have ignored that so this will not exactly handle the scenario so what you have to do maybe after doing this you have to write your statement driver dot navigate dot refresh so you can refresh the the page and then you can try to find the element then it will work but if you notice this piece of code that we are writing it you know you know explicitly ourselves and this this may be needed every time what is there is a way that we can handle this inside the explicit wait itself is there any way and that's when the writing with the lambda helps us okay let's try to do it instead of uh, you know we manually refreshing and doing it what if the explicit wait itself doing it okay we're going to do that so let's remove this and uh, let's come out of this piece of code now so so we uncomment this okay so this until statement uh, basically you know uh, is checking just is, is displayed what i'm going to do now is i'm going to write okay and a multi line lambda okay a multi line lambda like this and this going to return me driver dot uh, what sorry d dot find element whatever by dot name and q okay but before returning that it will try to do d dot navigate dot refresh so now you have an option to handle this within the lambda itself or within the explicit wait itself so this is when the lambda is really cool okay good so you can also add any more thing like if you want to add some sys of statements in in order for you to debug you know how long it takes for the element to be find all those stuff you can normally introduce uh, some uh, logging statement here okay searching um to searching to find the element all those all those logs if you want to add some logs you know you can also do that so it will pull every 500 seconds every 500 seconds this will be log okay let's let's try to check whether this particular piece of code is working okay basically i shouldn't uh, do this maybe i can directly this will return me a web element so i can change them directly here and then uh, testing okay something like this and let's try to run the code so guys this is just a function interface implementation okay if you notice this has entered a testing here and if you also notice my test got passed so everything we are handle it internally okay so if if you guys want to you know handle stale element reference exception you before itself you know that on clicking this you get a stale so whenever you are applying a wait or you know explicit wait you can use this particular waiting strategy to return a web element and then you can do the whatever the operation you want to do again if you want to be more generic you also want to handle normal cases as well as the stale element cases then you can write some if conditions here let's take um again yes if you are comfortable using only here do it but you know if you want to be this to be more generic then you can also add a few more uh, lines of code uh, by by dot name whatever whatever the by locator strategy that you want to follow you can use that so i am trying to find uh, all the elements uh, with with q i am doing find elements because i don't want that to throw null uh, sorry the no such element exception so find elements will basically return you a list with zero if it couldn't find any elements so i am actually uh, doing that and doing a is empty check whether if it is empty i don't want that to do something if it is not empty 
okay then you directly return it okay then you directly return driver dot find elements what are the locator strategy okay i am hard coding the locator strategy but in your case uh, you can you can you can pass the by directly okay uh, dot get of zero so that's it so if the list is not empty you directly return it because there is no state element reference exception there is no problem so you directly return it else if else okay then you handle it like this okay that's it very simple you find if there is no problem you are in finding the web element you return the directly the web element itself otherwise you search for the element do the refresh and then return it so in this case you are actually you know uh, solving the stale element reference exception and guys so you you might also be wondering right how we can use this effectively in a framework in those cases like let's say i will not be having a generic one you know uh, here let me just handle the uh, stale element reference exception alone okay we don't have to handle everything and uh, let's try to use this in our code uh, if you notice we have already a selenium automation framework that we've been using in that suppose if i want to click on a welcome uh, button or link then what i do i will tell what is the locator that i want to do uh, pass and what is the waiting strategy that i want to use so i will check for the presence of this particular link before clicking it and this is for the logging purpose if i go to this method click so we are doing explicit wait directory dot perform explicit wait so it basically do do that particular form of waiting strategy for you and then returns you the web element right and we also log in the, the you know reports into the console yeah first we are we'll focus only on this let's get here okay if you notice there are different waiting strategy that we have been using here so if you notice uh, we are using a clickable strategy where we will uh, wait for the element to be clickable whether if, present strategy where you'll be waiting for the elements to be present and the same like visibility so if, if you don't want any kind of waiting strategy in that case you can use a waiting strategy of none it will directly find the element and return you in this case uh, we have already find uh, a new waiting strategy which actually handle the uh, uh, stale element reference for exception for us so let me include that in the enum type as well so instead of none maybe i can add let's handle stale handle stale elements maybe okay something like this so i have introduced introduced a new waiting strategy and here i can add one more line of code uh, else if uh, the wait strategy equal to equal to wait strategy dot handle stale element then i want to handle it differently or how you want to handle it so this is how i want to handle it okay here in this framework wherever i want to use driver i have to use driver manager dot get driver right and the explicit wait timeout is coming from my uh, framework constants so i'll fetch it from there so yeah and now this is this is going to return me a web elements yeah so maybe i don't have to mention this here i'll just tell elements that's it so now we have introduced a new waiting strategy and this can handle the stale element reference exception for you again if you want to do further operations you can also do that the same way uh, if i have to call it from a page class okay what i have to do instead of presence okay i i think or i foresee that you know while clicking the link welcome i see there is a stale element reference reference exception that can happen then i can just simply tell you wait okay for the, for the stale element exception you handle it yourself and then click on it i don't bother about how you click it but i don't want to see any stale element reference exception so this now makes your code more readable and we could be able to achieve all these things with the help of you know handling this using a lambda which is actually your functional interface um, uh, you know available in java good guys i hope this is this video you fi will find this useful uh, please uh, let me know your feedback and uh, we will see another great video until then tada bye bye